Hello everyone, it is time for another tutorial, this time how to transfer paint to dropper bottles. Now I'd say it is as simple as just pour it into the dropper bottle, but I have picked up a few techniques over the years, so I thought I'd share it with you guys. Now first off, this piece, I don't really feel that I need it. Um, it could perhaps be useful to prevent you from tightening the lid too hard, but I mean, it's optional, I usually just get rid of it. Second up would be the label itself. Now, it's handy to keep on the drop balls so you know what paint is actually inside of it. Um, and in this case, I'm going to transfer a little paint to a dropper bottle. So, it's actually quite thankful because the the glue kind of sticks to the uh, the label. So, it's just as easy as that. Just transfer it. Um, be sure to remove any air bubbles beneath the um, label. Next up, uh, here's the first uh, little trick. Now, if you were to just pour it, you might have some issues with having the lid in the way. So, what I do is I get rid of it before I start pouring. So, in this case, I use the exact knife. Always be careful, guys. And uh, carefully remove uh, the lid. As you can see. And. Of course, you might want to save any excess paint you might have in the lid itself, so... I mean, you're saving a couple of cents worth of uh, paint by doing that, but it's always useful. Alright, here's uh, the second technique I picked up. So, I'm trying to demonstrate what could happen. If you were to paint too fast, or to, uh, transfer the paint too fast, you might end up with this situation where you clog the hole. And if you were to pour more paint now, it would just spill over and uh, you don't want to have that happening. So what I do is I actually squeeze the bottle and I keep it squeezed the entire time I am transferring uh, the paint. So if that situation were to occur to you guys, uh, you can just let go of the bottle and it'll suck the paint down into the dropper bottle instead of pouring all over the place. So that's quite neat. So keep a peep pressure on the bottle and well just pour the paint really <clears throat> it is as simple as that uh, and in order to get the the last few ounces you can uh, well first step would be to just scrape the paint to one side of the pod that'll let you pour a few more drops out of it and You'll soon see me also taking a throwaway brush and just scraping the last of it out of it. And there we go. Once you're done, be sure to clean up the uh, dropper bottle before applying the top cap. And there we go. It takes me about five minutes. It's well worth it. It makes your hopping a lot easier. You can find links to the dropper bottles in the video description below, and if you have any questions, please feel free to stop by the stream and say hi.